Hello friends. Welcome to session 5 using syntax commands for tuning. This is section 3 the tuning toolbox of the program performance in tuning the Sybase Adaptive Server Enterprise query performance query optimization we are using Adaptive Server Enterprise 16 objective is gather client server information by using syntax commands by then by the end of the session we should be able to understand this application tracing application tracing was introduced in adaptive server enterprise 15.0.2 it is a server wide framework to trace client sessions enabling you to inspect live applications running on adaptive server without source code access and application restart so adaptive server is running application is running on the adaptive server interacting with the adaptive server this is a prepackaged applications and you are tracing the application without affecting the application without getting inside the source code of the application and you are generating the trace report application tracing this tool is based on use session to trace session so that means it does not interrupt the client side activities it create another session the report produced by application tracing tool is saved in the text file format the syntax for this application tracing with the application tracing tool you can trace your own session or trace the session of another user or find out who is tracing whom and trace SQL text of a connection trace your own session syntax is set trace file and finally when you're doing when you're done with that you can use set trace file off this is client session running and adaptive server client is accessing adaptive server and you are tracing and you are just tracing yourself you can trace your own session any login with SA role enabled and any user with set tracing permission can execute the syntax to trace their own session tracing another session set trace file file path for server process ID SP ID and once you are done with the tracing you can use set trace file off so here from another client you are passing the service process ID of the session which you want to trace from a client so a process observe the work done by another process here you can trace the session of another process any login with SA role ended yeah, enabled can execute the syntax to trace the session of another user find out who is tracing whom you can use sp underscore help trace help app trace any login with SA role enabled can execute this syntax to find who is tracing whom trace SQL test for connection you can use set show SQL text on any user who is currently tracing and execute and syntax to trace SQL text of connection tracing scope all set commands that report statistics are included in the tracing the scope include all these set commands like set show plan on statistics IO time plan cost as we discussed in the previous session option sub commands option show normal brief or long or on off set option show abstract plan normal brief or long based on to what level you want to trace set option show histograms set option show missing stats and all database consistency checker dbcc traces 
collected with the DBCC trace on with the uh, this uh, for example DBCC trace on 100 points parse tree. So tracing scope include all these. SQL text. The data definition language statement like create table, create procedures, ad hoc code, stored procedures, cursors, fetch statements, dynamic SQL statement or execute intermediate all are within the scope of uh, tracing. SQL text ca captured by application tracing. When application tracing, uh, tracing captures SQL text, it print each statement of the batch separately. Preserves batch boundaries and appends the timestamp to indicate when the query was executed. Appending the timestamp. Timestamp up to granularity of 10 milliseconds. It helps to dig out command sequence of application and it helps correlate application level and server level events. Appending the timestamp as an example. In the example, the first line of output is the timestamp. The second line is the SQL text like sp underscore who and then you type go. In the example, first line of the output is the timestamp, second line is the SQL text and the final line is end of the batch marker. Select count star from T2, go. This is first line, output is the timestamp. Second line is SQL test, select a star, select count star from T2 and the third line is end of batch marker. In this example of the output, first line is the timestamp, second line is the statement in the batch and the final line is the end of the batch marker, end of batch. given here. Restrictions and limitations. Only SA or SSO role and users with tracing role can trace. You cannot trace set options that affect the execution of traced stored, uh, system process ID. Set row count less than 100, uh, set row count 100 for example. You cannot trace systems task in adaptive servers such as housekeeper or checkpoint. A session can trace only one session and can be traced only by one session, other session at a time. You cannot trace more than more sessions than maximum number of open file descriptors per engine. These are some restrictions and limitations of uh, tracing. You cannot trace the SQL text of uh, unoptimized commands such as insert and execute statements. Encrypted column values do not appear in trace output for security reasons. Tracing will never overwrite an existing file. If a session being traced quits, tracing is terminated. And there is no built in support for tracing parallel query execution. Use the worker thread model of adaptive server. The side effect of uh, trace file. Writing to the trace file may depend on the disk speed. If adaptive servers run out of file space, then it will close the trace file and terminate the tracing. If you have been listening to the lecture carefully, where you have been watching this, you should be able to answer the answers. You will be able to answer these questions. I leave the questions, pause, understand, read the question and then, then answer them. I am sure you will be able to answer. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ram. My profile is available at www.rnsangwan.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.